YouTube is making changes to its follower counting system and fans are not happy about it. If you're watching What's Trending, I'm Casey Spivey. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more social media news daily and ring the bell to stay up to date with our videos. For years, YouTube corporate and creators have been at odds, disagreeing on policy changes that have a butterfly effect on the community at large. Earlier this year, YouTube made a change to its monetization policies regarding viral challenges, conspiracy videos, and content that features children. And while these policies were updated to combat misuse of the platform, the changes had some unintended casualties. Colleen Ballinger explained how the policies affected her own family. By demonetizing those videos, all you're doing is helping the pedophile because now the pedophile doesn't have to sit through an ad. And now they can watch it with no ads and they can't comment, which means there's no way to find them. James Charles also publicly feuded with YouTube's copyright algorithm after claims were made on his videos that were unfounded. These policies regarding conspiracy content were also changed right before Shane Dawson released his highly anticipated two-part conspiracy series, diving into popular conspiracies like Chuck E. Cheese Pizza, The Woolsey Fires, and Deepfakes. After years of a seeming lack of communication between creators and policymakers, Shane invited CEO Susan Wojcicki to have some tea and talk about the policies. The video has not yet been released, but fans are looking forward to seeing what Susan has to say, especially now that YouTube just announced another change that may affect the popular subscriber counting site, Social Blade. YouTube announced that live subscriber counts will no longer be displayed in exact numbers and will instead be rounded to the nearest thousand. This change comes after PewDiePie and T-Series made headlines in an epic neck and neck battle that lasted for months. And more recently, James Charles and Tati Westbrook made headlines for a record subscriber change amidst their feud. Gracie said, YouTube creators, hi YouTube, can we have a better copyright system? YouTube, no, instead we'll delete your channel. Creators, that doesn't. YouTube, we will also completely change our YouTube studio. Creators, wh why? YouTube, we're taking away live sub counts. Creators, I... <sighs> Dr. Grandy said, because of this YouTube change, Social Blade will soon not be able to update sub counts in real time anymore. If this had come into effect a few months sooner, the whole PewDiePie versus T-Series meme wouldn't have even been a thing. And in a lengthy Twitter thread, Social Blade said, regarding the abbreviated sub counts, we wanted to take a second and thank you all so much for the overwhelming support. We've reached out to YouTube a couple days ago to talk to them about this, but still haven't heard back. We found out about this just like you from a tweet. What we're hearing unofficially is that this is in response to negative attention to people watching live counts. We get that. This is why we stay away from talking or promoting any YouTube fights, but only promote people reaching milestones. If YouTube's goal was to stop live counters alone, this would be sad because there are so many good reasons to watch a live counter as you reach a milestone. We love seeing people celebrate their first 1K or 100K or 1 million, etc. But even this we'd understand. Our site will still work if they go through with this change, but the granularity will be lost. For example, PewDiePie hit 95 million subs on April 28th and then 96 million on May 22nd. Right now we see updates each day. But with YouTube's new system, it would look like they didn't gain any subscribers for almost a month and then all of a sudden, it gains a million. So on the zoomed out view, things would still be there, but at a huge loss of precision. We're happy to work with YouTube on better ways to accomplish their goals. So what do you think about this policy change and do you want to save Social Blade? Let us know in the comment section and for more of its trending, head to whatstrending.com.